If you receive a lot of emails for work, business, or other, and you wanna increase your efficiency when you're going through your inbox, sending emails, writing proposals, any sort of thing like that, Outlook can be a great tool, especially when you utilize filters and folders to organize your work. Now, before we get into all of that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. You can also find a direct link to Microsoft Office 2021, both for Mac and PC. So if you have yet to pick up your copy, definitely check that out. Without further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Outlook, and what we're gonna consider is that instead of keeping all of our emails in the inbox folder, we can organize them into different categories based on certain criteria. So by setting up rules accordingly, we can have it so that emails that are coming through are automatically filtered into their correct folder that we create. And then now we have a separate way to view and go through our emails, maybe based on what takes priority or whatever the case may be. So to start with this, we're gonna go over to file and we're gonna click info, and then we'll click on manage rules and alerts. By clicking this, Outlook opens the rules and alerts window. And then we're gonna wanna click where it says new rule up here and it opens a wizard for us to set this up. Now step one is to select a template of the available options. Now to start with this, we're gonna keep the option on that says move messages from someone to a folder. This means that we're gonna specifically move messages that come in from a specific email address into a folder and that's gonna be the criteria that this rule is based on. So down at the bottom, we can select people or public group and this is where we're gonna actually edit the rules uh, descriptions. So I can manually type my email addresses or if you have contacts on your Outlook you'll be able to view that here as well. Now we could also use a contact group and we can just separate these by a semicolon. So maybe I want to add a, another contact or in this case you could select an entire group of contacts. And once I have the email addresses I want in here I'll press enter. Below that we can choose the specified folder. If you don't have one already created, you can create a new one from right here. So we're gonna name this folder Indigo Software. And we're gonna have it underneath the inbox, so we'll press OK. And there we see Indigo Software, this computer only. It's another setting or option that we have. Again, I'll press OK. And from here, our rule is pretty much set up. We could select a few different options here. So I'll go ahead and press Next. Now I could further filter down the emails that I'm getting here we have all of these conditions that we can apply. And this is gonna make it so that only when these conditions are met is it allocated to this folder. I'm gonna leave it with just from the people or group for right now, and we'll press finish. Now, I wanna walk you guys through one more example, and then I'm gonna go ahead and create a new rule and we'll just walk through different options again. So maybe I want to do move messages with specific words in the subject to a folder. So again, at the bottom, I can choose my specific words or phrases. Now for this example, I want this to be applied to any inbound emails from Musicbed. They send me emails and I want this to go in a specific folder. I can start with the phrase music and then we just press add when a, a word or phrase is complete and it'll drop it into the search list. I can also put bed and maybe I'll put Musicbed and music license. So between these words or phrases, I think it should be enough to get these emails flagged in and the goal with this is that any music licensing information that is coming into my email is gonna go into this specific folder. It doesn't necessarily have to be from Musicbed. Musicbed or similar companies, I want to go into this folder. So I'll press okay. Again, we're gonna go in here and create a new folder. And we're gonna name it music licensing. And we'll press okay. Moving on, we'll go ahead and do this. Maybe I want it to be sent only to me. And then we also have additional options here where we can select actions and exceptions. We might wanna mark it as red and we might also wanna display a desktop alert. You can see we get a pop-up rule here, so we'll press yes on that. And then here we have exceptions. I'm gonna leave this one blank again, I'll hit next. And then we can actually name the rule right here and I'll name it music license organization and I'll press finish. Again, we'll hit apply and then I'll press okay. Now dropping down on my inbox, I have access to these folders. And as you can see, no inbound emails have come in yet, but they're all gonna be coming in here. And this is a really, really helpful way to maximize your efficiency 
while using Outlook, and it's one of my personal favorite features. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, let us know, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in your own copy of Office or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.